The Good Earth, Chapter 1, Summary, Wang Lung, a poor farmer in rural China, has recently reached the age for marrying. His father wants to find him a suitable wife and approaches the prosperous H. Wang family to ask whether they can spare a slave for Wang Lung. Wang Lung's father insists that the woman be unattractive. He worries that a pretty girl would have attracted the young lords of the house and would therefore have lost her virginity. Wang Lung sees the wisdom in this, but he demands that his future wife at least be free of a split upper lip and pockmarks. On his wedding day, Wang Lung meticulously washes himself. His father complains at the unusual use of so much water. Wang Lung is excited, though, and splurges, paying a man to shave his head and face. He also purchases food for his wedding feast and incense sticks for the gods. Nervousness assails him as he approaches the house of H. Wang. The rude, body gate man forces Wang Lung to pay a toll of a precious silver piece before he will allow him inside the gate. In the house of H. Wang, Wang Lung bows before the old mistress, who is smoking opium. The old mistress calls for Wang Lung's bride, who is named O Lan. She is tall and sturdy, and her face is smooth and brown. Wang Lung is disappointed that her feet are not bound. The old mistress states that her family purchased O Lan at the age of 10 during a famine year. The old mistress believes O Lan is a virgin. Before letting the couple leave, she asks O Lan to bring her first child to see her. Wang Lung carries O Lan's heavy box during the back to home. He purchases some peaches for her. When they reach the house, he goes to the small temple on his family's fields to burn incense in honor of the earth god and his lady. Wang Lung's father complains about the expenses for the wedding feast, but he is secretly pleased that there will be guests. O Lan prepares the meal, but she refuses to be seen by other men until her marriage is consummated. Her modesty and her good cooking please Wang Lung greatly.